was no angel. It went multi-platinum in 25 countries. So, how do you follow that? Big things expected for her LP, Life for Rent, which is available at the end of the month. And um, LP sounds very old-fashioned. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> isn't it? Uh, wrong player. Wrong player. <laughs> her seat died. Oh, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Do you have good a morning. surname? Of course I have a surname. Do you? What is <laughs> <laughs> Armstrong. No, but there's a lot yeah. in between, isn't but there? But, you know, I just think Dardo's enough for people to take in. I usually have to spell it anyway, so oh, I don't want to then have more. to, like, deal there's with a whole... Come on, you can tell us. No, I can't. Oh, Everyone on, knows my the... whole name anyway. No, they don't. It's so boring, they do. They I don't. just can't bear it. I've never used any of them. Any of them? No, there's, like, five. Five bits to yeah. it? Yeah. Well, that's, that makes you interesting, right, right, right from the sun does. <laughs> well, it gives you a personality well, we're talking Well, we're talking about No Angel there, and most people would have No Angel in their LP collection <laughs> or, no, or no, CD, CD uh, <laughs> collection there. Um, it is a lot to live up to, isn't it? Um, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, for me, it's sort of like, I just really enjoy making music, so I'm just going to keep making albums and Which not obsess have. too much about the rest of it. So what's your new long player called? My <laughs> new long playing <laughs> record is, uh, now it's called uh, Life for Rent. I'm oh, just thinking about the pressure on you, actually, following No Angel, because you just sort of mushroomed up from nowhere. Suddenly, Dido was winning awards, selling millions of albums all over the world. And that's big pressure, because everyone was talking about you. Now, you, this is your second album, and big things are expected, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I suppose the pressure's not really much. I mean, any pressure was any pressure I put on myself was just to make good music. I just, obviously, I want to make good music that I'm proud of and that I want to listen to, because that's what, what I did on the first album. And um, I think the pressure's really like the record companies now really isn't it yeah. I mean I don't know it's not really my yeah, I mean at the end of the day I've sort of done what I set out to do which is make a record and feel really good about it and now I can actually just sort of enjoy it and if people love it then brilliant you know people like Eminem love it and Britney love it because they get there obviously Eminem's used them um, uh, thank you um, and 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 you've co-wrote for Britney as well what was Eminem like to work for I mean, I just found him a total joy. Like, mm. we just, we got on brilliantly. He was always so sweet to me. He just came across as uh, really warm, really sort of driven, um, and just, just a, actually really special and really charismatic mm. guy, you know. He's definitely doing his own thing, and no-one has come close to doing anything that he's done, you know. We, we've had his nan on, actually. It's so yeah. funny, yeah. yeah. She says, yeah. Eminem is a good boy! Marshall. <laughs> Marshall, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we, we, we know them all. But you, were you what was called a prodigy? When, you know, were you sort of hot-housed, and, and had you got this sort of talent when you were No, you were I mean, young? I'd never really sung until sort of like... I mean, I'd sung for fun. I did train as a class, classical musician when yeah. I was a little kid, and, uh, but I wasn't a prodigy, I was OK. And, um, but I went to music school and stuff and did that, and then I started singing in my late teens, and I was writing songs when I was little, but for fun. I never thought I'd play them to anyone. What do you think of uh, Pop Idol and Fame Academy? I think um, I've hardly ever watched it. Occasionally I tune in and I do quite enjoy it. I mean, I just like, you know, just sit back and I'm like, OK, wow. And I keep hoping that, you know, I'll watch an episode and be really blown away, you know, by like uh -huh. some incredible voice that like gets right inside yes. you. And, um, but, um, you know, I just think everyone, I mean, it, there's no reason that someone amazing can't come through that yeah. channel. I just think you get heard in all sorts of different ways. It doesn't have to be a conventional sort of, you know, way. Well, and it's good that it's showcasing music, isn't it, yeah. really? Prime time on a Saturday night can't be bad, really. Yeah. Your hair looks nice. Very Thank different so from yours. last time we saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hers, hers is not her own. That's <laughs> the difference. That's Half of it is. is. Well, Half of mine. yours isn't your own either, so don't step too far. <laughs> don't go there. No, because yeah. that little feather cut of yours, the short one, it was so much copied, wasn't it? And it was voted as best haircut. It was fantastic. Stuff. It still is. I love it when I go to gigs and, and there's loads of people with my haircut. I just, it's genius. It's gone. Well, it's Dido, we, hope, we hope the new <laughs> album is, is genius. Uh, Life for Rent. And uh, you're going to sing White Flag for us very shortly. We look to. forward to that yeah. for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, White Flag is gorgeous. We've heard her rehearsing.